everybody today is April 25th I think and I meant to do a video yesterday and I didn't I have a whole bunch of really good excuses on why I didn't but bottom line I didn't sorry about that I may do two today I'd plan to I don't know if that's gonna happen because I'm now in the middle of baking and so maybe I'll feel inspired while I'm baking maybe I won't but I wanted to talk about something that came up I think it was last week it was might have been before that I, I probably just noticed it last week but Carrie Underwood apparently a few weeks ago or actually a few months ago had some sort of accident I don't know exactly what happened and ended up with with a cut on her face and a scar and I guess she was kind of not in the public eye for a couple months and then went to perform for some um, music show um, contest giveaway award show or something so it came out in the press that she was nervous about it because she had the scar and so but and, and I kind of found out anyway whatever um disregard that part so but it was kind of curious there's sort of two sides to it that I see first I want to say I've seen Carrie Underwood in person and she's drop dead gorgeous so uh carrie does not have anything to worry about in the looks department even with a scar and so the second thing is that her being nervous about coming out and having a scar on her face um hello i have one and i don't know life without one so i i i i kind of don't sympathize with carrie on that but i do sympathize because i have had times when I've had surgeries and I've come back and having surgery you whether it's a visual thing or not a visual thing you come out a little bit different you come out a little bit scarred emotionally and so I totally get that from Carrie and you know that that first time that you're you know walking back into work or you're stepping back into you know like that role that people know you in and you're like I don't know how people are going to react. Are people going to be like, hey, it's great to see you. Or are they going to ignore you? Or are they going to be like, oh, what happened to you? I mean, there's this unknown that makes you nervous. So I totally get that. Um, but in terms of a, a scar, I, I, you know, it's that's just one little piece of that. And I hope that the media sort of blew out, blew out of proportion the scar aspect of it because I, I don't think having a scar no matter how visual it is and apparently this one wasn't visual I, ha I looked at pictures I can't find it um, I, I hope that was sort of a misstatement because I think if if she actually said to the press like I, I'm nervous about coming out because I have a scar on my face and I don't know how do people react I think that sends a wrong message to people who do have a scar like I have a scar I, I can't get rid of it I've had it my whole life uh, it, do it does not define me but it is something that other people may define me by. So by this beautiful woman coming out and saying that I feel defined by the scar, sort of, and that I'm less pretty than I used to be or whatever, whatever that feeling is by putting it out there, you're reinforcing other people to look poorly on people who do have a scar. But if it was really just this like, statement that you know I'm nervous about my first time going out after I had this thing happen to me and my world is different that is different and I think that comes down to being really intentional about how you speak and how you speak about other people and how other people view you and def deficiencies I that's a terrible word but I can't think of a better one right now that that you feel like you have that other people might have and then highlighting them and saying that calling them a deficiency can really put other people down even though you might be putting it out there to protect yourself you're protecting yourself by putting others down and that's something you really do have to be careful of so and anyway that's my little spiel on carrie underwood um i don't know she still looks gorgeous to me and uh i wouldn't think any more or less of her if she had a scar if she lost a limb or whatever your beauty comes from the inside, not from the outside. So have a good night and maybe I'll see you again today. Otherwise, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.